Hi everyone, welcome to our big experiment for Science Week. Um, hopefully you've all read my compass post and you know what I'm talking about. Um, this is our big watermelon experiment. Um, so what we're going to do before we begin is, as I said, we've obviously got our number one big ticket item, the big watermelon. Um, just to, for a heads up, I said each cup has 10 elastic bands, so hopefully, I said, we'll get a nice accurate number. Um, we're gonna measure the circumference of the watermelon to see the uh, difference between the start and the end. Thanks to, I said, Betty, who's gonna help me measure the circumference. Um, you've met Betty before in some of our um, senior, uh, senior and middle school science videos. Alright, I've got 74 centimetres as the circumference. So, I said, Betty's going to write that down um, and we'll see what change we do have at the end when we have, hopefully, the watermelon in half. Um, and hopefully we get to capture the big implosion um, on film. So, obviously, um, I said safety is important. I said we're outside. I said wearing our safety glasses and fogging up though. We've got our mask <laughs> with the climate we're in today. Um, I said, hopefully everyone's staying safe. I said, I don't, I said, wouldn't advise for people to try this at home. So, um, wish us luck and let's get started. That's 20. 20. <laughs> That's 30. That's 60. That's 60. 70. Alright, that's 80. All right, that's 100. All right, that's 110. That's up. 120, all right. 130. Did you see it coming? Yeah, I, you know what? I was just about to point out a little um, air bubble, an air pocket of I juice. See. I saw the juice coming mm -hmm. out. Because you, I said you knew it was coming. I had no idea. Yeah, I touched it. I went, oh, that's it. <laughs> but I didn't think it would go up that much. That was really interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> we could show Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Who's worse, me or Sam? Mine's pretty bad. I said. 